but I do want to talk about these colds. Um, well, sure. And uh, now, James, you you've got a very special well, this, uh, rendition of a cold. Here. Yes. Well, it's really the the primary thing is the the tuning for fast draw, which both of these guns have, and the fact that this is the closest I've been able to get yet to my original. Virginian gun that I carried for the first eight years of the show, which had a Colt 1860 backstrap and trigger guard that was all in brass. We couldn't find one that had the back in brass, but this is in brass, and this is authentic. This is an actual Army uh, handle. The one I had on my guns was called the Dragoon, and we can't find a Dragoon that'll fit on this frame, but that's just because it hasn't been adjusted properly or... Maybe it's a casting or something that, that Andy Anderson made to go on my guns. But it, it can't them back a little farther. If you'll notice, this, this gun is canted back a little farther than that Army gun. Mm -hmm. Now, if you extend that length and that width at the base a little farther back, then that's what a Dragoon is. And why I like that is because it's a bigger handhold for shooting a 45. I like it farther back so I get a better sight picture. I bring the gun to the, gun to the target and, and, and shoot it. So, the gun to the eye. And so that's got a five and a half inch barrel, correct? Yeah, I think they're the same. Or maybe this, may be a, this may be shorter. No, it's the same. The same. And, and your original Colts that you were using on the Virginian, those had that those was five and, and a half. Five and a half. And then I went to seven and a half in the final season called the Men from Shiloh. Men from Shiloh. When uh, uh, we changed everything, we changed costumes and horses and guns and all that. We're trying to get a new look to the show, and as a result, it uh, it uh, we thought it was a great idea, but nobody knew what they were all looking for the Virginia and they never heard from the men for Shiloh, so we went off the air. So, you know, the best laid plans. But that's uh, closer to what I have than uh, what I had carried than anything else. Now, your original Colts that were like this, Yeah. Uh, what happened to those? Well, the one that I carried in the first eight years, I took and uh, used in a motion picture that I made right after uh, the Virginia. It was called The Devil and Miss Sarah with Janice Rule and Gene Barry. It was a uh, ABC movie of the week for, for television, but it was a, uh, a two-hour movie, this new movie special, and it was a story of a, of a girl who became under the spell of this uh, bad outlaw who acted like he had supernatural powers, but he didn't have any supernatural powers. He just was put her under a spell by uh, my primitive hypnosis, I guess, and she turned against me and went off with him. So at the, the final thing, all, his whole deal was to bump me off so he could get her and get our property. So uh, uh, he was trying to goad me into a gunfight, and we got into a gunfight, and he acted like he couldn't be hit with a bullet, and I fired it, fired all six rounds at him, and then I took the gun and threw it at him, because it's the only weapon I had, and I threw it at him so really hard, and uh, he was a real adobe building, and he sidestepped it and hit the building and cracked all the pieces and bent the frame and everything else, so we trashed it. So I never should have used that gun. I no. could have used any ND gun, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I didn't. I used that one. And then I had the men from Shadow. I had two that I had made up that were seven and a half inch barrels, same kind of handles. And they were blue steel and uh, case hardened frame. And then I had two that were chrome plated with the uh, brass handles. And same the brass and wood handles. And they're for parade guns, you know. And uh, they were seven and a half, too. And all those four guns were stolen from my gunsmith in California. And they looked like they looked like this one, a lot like this one. They looked like, like that one, except for seven and a half inch barrel. And they were stolen when? 
oh, after the show was off, and sometime in the 70s, 74, or something like that. So they'd be pretty easy to identify. Uh, they are identifiable, and I know there's a, there's a certain mark that Andy Anderson, who made these guns up for me, uh, he put uh, a, an A stamped into the frame under the handles, and there's a little tiny A there, and if you, it's not, it's not like any other Colt. If you take those handles off and look at it there, it's the A that's there, then those are the guns. And the A stamped in the wood or in the metal? In the metal. In the metal. 